let us come back into the next example <clears throat> this is the complex given to you so <coughs> i very well know this is 2 and oxalate and the formula which i have already written it is coo minus linked with co minus so already you have two donor sites for one oxalate it is two donor sites for two oxalates it is total four so four plus two six the coordination number here is six so you can draw an octahedral complex so draw it carefully draw the metal atom here now potassium is outer this is your counter ion which is present counter ion so you have to be careful now try to make that counter ion out k plus <coughs> done so cr is in the center so draw six because i already got coordination number six one two three four five six yes now i have to draw mirror image of this particular one again draw cr one two three four five six done so oxalate instead of uh, c2o4 c2o4 isn't it c2o4 you can write ox also that thing will not lose marks start start from here because this is water start from here h2o1 h2o2 come down link this with ox the leftover link with ox done the mirror image of this water is here now this is moving in this direction now you're going to move in this direction so careful please uh, don't write a mistake this is here exactly mirror of that h2o this is here and the mirror image forms here this is on the other side ox yes cis isomers are optically active when i take the trans isomers they are optically inactive i did the same in the earlier one also so let's come back and do the third one so when i have to go to the third one <coughs> third example here they've given three oxalates so simple isn't it so what should i do copy the third complex c2o4 tries minus three okay <coughs> this is nothing but oxalate i showed you in the earlier this one oxalate oxalic acid for one oxalate you have two donor sites so for donor sites so, so for three you have three into two six so the coordination number is six so take that complex cr one two three four five six mirror image i'm just vaguely drawing this cr one two three four five six the complex charge you can put like this and minus three here the complex charge minus three start from here now the four auxiliary first link this is one two isn't it link between two one so this is over most of the students start linking here also wrong one two three four the mirror image of this this is here oxalate this is here the mirror image of this this is here so both are mirror images this is how you are going to do yes everything is complete let's come back and do the fourth one so when i have to do the fourth one it's a uh, same thing let's uh, come back and take the example the st story is the same but you have to be careful in drawing in the fourth example platinum is a metal atom cl2 en2 plus 2 I have to draw optical isomer <coughs> again the coordination number this is 2 plus 4 ethylene diamine is 4 isn't it so 6 Co so coordination number is also 6 so try it draw platinum in the center 1 2 3 4 5 6 and draw the mirror image of this platinum in the center now the charge here is plus 2 here also the charge is plus 2 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 Please make neatly in the exam. I am not drawing it so neatly here. So start from Cl2. Cl2, 1 Cl, second Cl. En are 2. En, En. Yes, cis isomer on the same side. Draw the same mirror image. Cl here. Now this is moving in this direction. You have to move in this direction. Cl is here. En is here. Ethylene diamine. The other En is here. One more ethylene diamine. So, this is your uh, uh, optical isomer of the uh, fourth complex. Let's come back and draw the fifth complex optical isomer. So, how should I draw the fifth complex? 
copy the complex first i very well know it is an optically active compound i gave you the terms and conditions also that is your criteria for optical uh, compound to be optically active so copy this complex fifth one cr nh3 taken twice cl2 en and plus okay simple first see whether it is octahedral or not or tetrahedral i said tetra and square planar will rarely show optical activity so here in this complex this is two this is two this is one only means one no two sides isn't it so two total are six i showed you this earlier also so coordination number is also six start drawing now you have to draw chromium one two three four five and six done draw the mirror image of this and make one more chromium with six bonds because the coordination number is six now start from here ammonia is the first one i'm going in this direction dextroform cl is here the second one one more chlorine one more chlorine and ethylene diamine is linking this so this is your cis isomer and it is dextro rotatory clockwise direction the same mirror image if i have to draw here start from here it is ammonia this is levo rotatory yes ammonia is here nh3 is here cl is here one more cl is here and your en is linking here so these two are mirror images of each other so only thing is this this is also a cis isomer but this is levo rotatory levo rotatory or anti clockwise direction anti clockwise yes simple you are just going to draw if you want to link right nitrogen here nitrogen here and you can link between this one you can make it draw this one here perfect you have to just make it equally i have not made it equally because i am just making it fast so n here and here join this nitrogen join this here join this nitrogen see here i made it a bit larger so and join this nitrogen this is how you are going to draw so we have learned till 5 now let's come back and learn 6 7 8 and and sets an important thing here we will see whether it's going to show geometrical isomerism or not